Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Casino Inc. This is a game that you can find on Steam for roughly 5 or $6. As you may have guessed, this game is a little old. According to the bottom of the screen, this game was published in 2003. This is a game that I owned roughly around that same time, so you can imagine the nostalgia I had when I booted this up for the first time tonight and started playing it. And it works. It doesn't have 1080p resolution. But, by gosh, it is, uh, it's as much fun as I remember. Let's go ahead and show you around, and, uh, we'll go from there. Options menu, gamma level, screen resolution. The highest that I could get is 1600 by 1024. There's no 1080p option here. So that's why the screen looks kind of weird. On top of that, because this is a game from 2003. I can't promise that my recording software is going to be 100% reliable. So if it doesn't capture mouse cursors or if something glitches out, I apologize in advance. But yeah, you can adjust the display levels, the audio levels here, uh, music and sound effects, and then lastly the game, city scroll speed, message timeout, other toggles, that kind of thing. Pause the video here if you want to see any of that in greater detail. When you create a new game, you'll be able to choose one of these themes. It doesn't really matter which one. This is the management expansion. The management expansion comes with the core game. So whenever you boot up the game, you'll have a choice between the original game and the expansion. And I chose the expansion just to see what that was like. I never owned it. I owned the core game. Um, so once you choose one of these themes, you'll also choose a scenario. There's level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I chose the first one and played around with that for a little while off camera. And I'll go ahead and load that up now. And here we are. We're inside my casino. Keyboard controls, as you can imagine, not very user-friendly. Arrow keys. Move the camera around. You can also just... Do some edge scrolling with your mouse. If you want to rotate, you have to use the bottom left-hand corner. There's some arrows here. Like so. If you want to zoom in and out, click on the magnifying glasses. There's lots of different menus. Upper left-hand corner, there's a little X. That's your options menu. No matter how soft I make the sound effects, the sound effects are still a little loud. Again, old game. What do you want? Um, oh, my cheat is being ejected from club. Okay, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Time controls in the upper left-hand corner. Build menu on the left-hand side. You can build things like blackjack tables, poker tables, slots. You'll be unlocking more things as you complete objectives. Arcade machine, small dance floor, coffee machine, ice cream kiosk, bean bag, lava lamps, seating, statues, trash can, plants, all that good stuff. You can also hire employees. There's bouncers, floormen, security, door staff. You can hire people to run these kiosks. Let's go ahead and rotate. Those slot machines are loud. Okay, so... You can hire, like, bartenders. You can hire chefs. You can hire, I guess, like, fast food servers. The bar seems to be very popular. But people can get drunk and throw up on your floor. As you can see. You can hire mechanics and janitors. You can hire escorts, which people seem to like. I'll go ahead and hire one now. Whenever you hire an employee, there's a number next to them. The higher the number, the better their skill. You can also hire five star people. There's pianists, floormen, chefs. They're just simply five stars. Again, the better, the better skill they are, um, the less mistakes they made. If you, for example, 
get like a level one bouncer and he makes a mistake and beats up on someone that you accused of cheating when he didn't really cheat, you can get in a lot of trouble. So yeah, you want to make sure that your employees are skilled if at all possible. You can expand your casino. Oh, nice. My cheat that I sent to my competitor casino got $1,800 before he was evicted. I'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, you can add more floors here. You can purchase real estate or advertising billboards. That basically adds more advertisement and allows more people to come to your casino. Uh-oh. There's a guard, apparently. Oh! Okay. He's down for the count. Send guard to eject. I don't know who fought whom, but he, he's down. Alright. You can also set up transportation. Basically escorting VIPs and customers to your casino. Find nearest staff. You can add items to storage or move objects around, that kind of thing. Exit the building. A little glitchy, apparently. Let's go back in. And we are back. The game crashed on me. <laughs> Again, this is an older game. Expect these kind of things should you dive into it. Right-hand side of the screen, this is more information purposes. You can set landmarks from here. Um, you can view your market share, how well your casino is doing. Lots of other buttons to look at. I'm not going to dive too much into this. This again, older game. You can manage your cheats from here. City map. You can right-click to go to any of these locations. Sometimes you can enter them, other times you can't. Information about your casino. This is important. This tells you what kind of profit each thing is making. Right now my blackjack is doing very well. Poker, not so much. Again, it's very important to have high-skilled uh, dealers at these tables so that you don't lose a whole lot of money. You can see your objective. Upper right-hand corner there. Balance sheet. And your staff. You can see how happy they are, what they're getting paid, all that jazz. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, build something. I've got plenty of money. Let's go with... Slots, medium bet. We'll go with that. That sound doesn't get annoying at all. Okay, so I jumped to the competitor's casino. It seems to be a little less noisy in here. Again, no matter how much I reduce the sound effect slider here, certain sound effects are not affected by this. So, yeah, again, older game, expect that. My goal today is just to show you that this game does work on Windows 10, which is what I'm running it on, but it's a little rough around the edges. Um, so if you're looking for, like, a casino manager game... Um, and want to take a chance. <laughs> so, the sound effects for puking in this game are hilarious. Oh, oh, let me... I, I gotta show you something. Okay. If you click on menu, and then you just type load the dice, that opens up the developer console. And then puke more. Alright, now resume. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so I... <laughs> this is how you can win against any casino. Just, you can drive them out of business. Puke more. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. You've achieved your objective. I've achieved my objective. <laughs> Yay. Five thousand dollars been added to my balance. Alright, I can now purchase roulette tables. But yeah, if you wanna... If you wanna drive your competitors out of business... Again, load the... Hit escape. T just type the words, load the dice, no spaces. And then puke more. You can also type in chips at the developer console to add more money to your account. It's a cheat that I remember using when I first got this game. And... <laughs> it just, it never gets old. Let's put roulette in. Preferably somewhere where it's not gonna smell. All right, let's put that here. Yeah, smells uh, like stands like this. People do not like to gamble next to them. Let's go ahead and hire someone. Level three, sure. She's not great, but she'll do. Alright, so, not a very long video, but because of the sound effects being so loud and just because the game is old and doesn't work well with my recording software, I'm going to end it here. But I just want to let you know that this game, as old as it is, does work, but it's a little rough around the edges. So if you've been sort of hesitating to pick it up because how of how old it is, there's always that Steam refund option too. If it doesn't work for you, just... Use the Steam refund option as long as you don't play it for longer than two hours or keep the game longer than so many days, then I think you'll be okay. If you guys want to see more gameplay, even if my recording software isn't perfect, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.